Matt, a familiar scoreline this afternoon. How would you assess that game today? Um, oh, there was, in terms of both teams, some good quality football on show. Um, look, a couple of lapses in terms of the goals against Cam has been excellent for us this season. So I, I can't point a finger too much in relation to that. Scored two good goals ourselves. Um, had the best opportunities to score a third, um, but just couldn't quite execute. In the last few games, we've, we've scored early. Today, it was perhaps an uncharacteristic slow start, would you say? Um, to a certain extent, look, we, we changed the shape. A couple of the personnel um, changed within that shape, um, naturally. And a, a few weren't quite in tune with what was needed to start the game. Um, but it's, it's, it's two goals from outside the box, so they've not hurt us in and around our area too much. Um, but those balls have gone in the, the back of the net, um, responded brilliantly. Um, but we also just needed to, to stay level for a little bit longer. Like we spoke about in the past, about staying ahead for a little bit longer. We needed to stay level. So that, that second goal was a bit of a blow because we were just getting on top in that first half period um, and we were starting to create good opportunities and starting to move the ball pretty well. So the, the effort's incredible from that group of players. Um, I actually felt we just didn't quite have an extra yard in our legs in that final 18-yard box or that final moment today. I'm not too sure why. Maybe, maybe the physicality of the game took it out of us a little bit. Obviously, we saw that. Uh, change in formation and we saw Colin Daniel handed his start a Wurra as well. Was that change in formation specifically for the Newport or was it after the last three games? Um, sort of? look, not so much the last three games but our last few games at home. Um, we, we've just lost a little bit of control in, in, in those games um, and we, we didn't start the game with our normal fluidity. We didn't turn their back line just to start off with um, which we needed to do so it, it was always in front of their players and they could step in and then they utilised the space really well off the back of that but um, there's certain personnel who, who just lacked a little bit of rhythm today. I think that's probably the right word. And it's always difficult when you're, you're putting players on the pitch uh, for the first time in terms of starts. But they've got to be ready to start those games of football. And I'm sure we can be better off the back of that performance. You've mentioned before how Sam Nombe was an investment for this club. And he's once again shown why we paid that transfer fee with five and five now. Yeah. And look, if, if we'd had Podge on the bench or another central forward on the bench, you just wanted an extra body to uh, help that workload at the top end of the pitch. Giovanni's got a slight foot issue at the moment. Um, so you're trying to move MJ closer to him and it's it's not a natural thing for them to do. So I wanted two and out centre forwards on the, on the bench, but we didn't quite have that. And of course, great for MJ to be on the, on the score sheet again. Classy he, finish, really forward. classy finish. I think he's used the defender um, just to bend it round him and sort of send the keeper the wrong way. Um, but that press started to work for that period in that, that, that first half. Um, and we started to regain the ball. And then when we did regain the ball, there was a lot of space. That's why that second goal was just oh, a bit of a killer. But, you know, you, you, you support your teammates in those moments. And, and Cam made a good save in the second half. So we're really pleased in relation to how he, he stood up to that. And, and credit must go to the fans as well, because they gave him a fantastic reception after that goal went in. Uh, a word on Jonathan Grounds, perhaps not had many minutes this season, but he came on and looked really assured. Yeah, there was a few wobbly moments, certainly from our back boys in possession. Um, and if there's anyone who's not wobbly in possession, then it's, it's Groundsy. Um, his experience tells, look, he's, he's not got the legs that he used to have, but he's got real quality on the ball. Um, and as a manager, you looked at areas where you can improve your control in the game. And I just felt our back line were getting a lot of the ball, but not quite as confident as they should have been, for, for whatever reason. Um, they should be more confident than what they, they showed and they're better players on the ball so there's no one better than Groundsy on the outside of a three and, and Pierce is a good enough player as well. They just meant we could get Josh Key a little bit higher and I thought as the game went on Josh Key was going to become our, our, our out threat in terms of those one-on-one situations and we were a pull back away from, from winning that game. I think for both sides really there was a lot of space in midfield. Both sides seemed to pick up on loose passes here and there around the centre circle area. It made yeah. the game quite an open encounter. Yeah, they had an extra body in there. So credit to, to Archie, credit, credit to Tim, credit to MJ to a certain extent. Um, look, you're always offsetting it in terms of certain aspects of our formation. Um, and we had one less body in the, in the middle of the park, which is probably why it felt like it landed to them more often than not. But that, that was something we understood because we felt we could hurt them in different areas of the pitch. And, and that showed today, when we look back at that game of football and we look back at those chances, we've had a better chances today. And like I say, two, two goals from outside the box and one save from Cam in the second half. Um, the ball was flashing across their goal an awful lot in the second half. And of course, now all eyes move to Tuesday night against Crawley. Yeah, and, and there's some tight bodies in there. I just mentioned that it started well, midway through this interview. I just felt we didn't quite have an extra yard in our legs. Um, certainly once we got there, and I think that was the, the game demands. Um, Newport always a physical team, a strong team. Um, and it was a big game of football in terms of adrenaline as well. So we might have to just look after a few. Um, there's a few carrying knocks as well. So um, we've always said about a three game week, but if ever the squad was showed today, it will show again on Tuesday.